So, you've decided to take the IELTS exam. Well done. It's the test that's recognized and respected around the world. Here, we will look at the criteria of pronunciation. This is one of four criteria on which you will be tested. Look for the other three criteria in other videos. This criteria focuses on the accuracy and variety of pronunciation features, which include individual sounds. The spelling of a word can sometimes confuse this. For example, euphemism. Word stress. Stressing the wrong syllable in a word is a frequent error. For instance, it should be mistake, democracy. Word stress can be confusing when it changes with different parts of a word family. For instance, photograph, photography, photographic. Sentence stress. For instance, the way that some words in a sentence are emphasized or slightly louder. For example, if I were you, I'd go by bus. Intonation. The pitch of your voice changing as you talk. Monotone intonation is typical of someone who has memorized long responses. This may result in lower test scores. Chunking. Talking in a rhythm which delivers chunks of words with short silences in between. Good public speakers often use this skill. To improve your pronunciation, we recommend these steps. The first step is to find out how English intonation, sentence stress, and rhythm differ from your native language. Ensure you understand the effect of sentence stress and intonation on meaning. Then practice using these in different ways. Refer to a dictionary to confirm the correct word stress if you are unsure. Listening to a variety of authentic English sources will help you become familiar with a range of pronunciation features. For instance, listen to the BBC Radio or the Voice of America in whatever subjects interest you. Even if you're not listening closely, having the radio or television on in the background can help attune you to the rhythm and intonation of another language. Don't rush when you speak. That's a common mistake. You might skip sounds or words. It's better to speak clearly. Recording yourself can be very useful. Try to apply what you've learned about the different features of pronunciation in English. Chunking is a particular skill you can develop by recording yourself. The face-to-face -face nature of the IELTS speaking test encourages you to develop the skills you will need to interact successfully with English speakers. For more information, please see the other speaking test videos, Fluency and Coherence, Lexical Resource, and Grammatical Range and Accuracy.